What's going on, friends? It's another beautiful day. So I'm out here at Sunflower Village Eatery. I seen this establishment on Chocolate Man in Thailand. Looked like they had some pretty good pancakes. If you watch that video, I'll link it below. He does mention something along the lines of a good pancake is hard to find here in Thailand. And he is 100% absolutely correct. The pancakes that we are used to in the States compared to what most of the pancakes taste like here in Thailand is night and day. There's a, there's a big difference. They seem to be more dense here and more fluffy in the States. They got French toast. <laughs> I haven't had French toast in a minute. Man, I came here to get pancakes to see if these pancakes was legit, but then I'm looking at this French toast. <laughs> I probably should get the pancakes though. I think I am. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get these pancakes with mangoes. That's what I'm gonna do. Then they have some strip bacon. Might have to get some strip bacon. I believe Chocolate Man in Thailand said that the owner is Filipino. This looks freaking awesome. Got a little syrup. Just a little bit. Getting noy. Let's see what these talking about. Are they legit or not? <laughs> That's a real pancake right here. It's basically uh, caramel. Is it caramel or caramel? Who cares? You can't say caramel. You can't say caramel. Are you going to die? <laughs> if you say it one way or the other, are you going to die? If you say caramel, does that mean you can't pay your rent this month? If you say caramel, that means you're not gonna be able to make your car payment. That's what I mean, you know. Wake up with positivity. Don't get caught up in all that little stuff that don't even really matter. In the grand scheme of things, it don't matter. <laughs> Let's try the bacon. Just looking at the bacon, it looks crispy like I asked them to make it. That crispy. Bend it and then break it crispy. I almost like my bacon to be so crispy that if you drop it, it'll shatter like glass. <laughs> and bacon right for Yeah, I like it. I gotta tell y'all, that was absolutely delicious. I am super tempted to get another order of that bacon. Y'all know why, but do it. Cause I'm a fat boy. Finish. I don't even know if I brought enough cash with me. I'm dead serious. I got 400 baht here. Let's see how much my tab is. I think I got enough. Check me out. So it was 215 baht for my pancakes, the drink, and my bacon. How much is 215 baht? Okay. Yeah. Horrible. I'm never coming back. It's good. Oh, it was really good. How was your pancake? Yeah, it was really good. Oh, yeah? Yes, ma'am. You scared me that. Did I? You said the Arabic. Yeah. <laughs> Alex, you said? Yes, I'm Alex and I'm from the Philippines. I'm the owner of Sunflower okay. Village Eatery here in Pratamnak Soy 4. Pratamnak Soy 4. Yes. How long you been here? Oh, well, uh, I, I live in Pattaya for a year now, and then we just opened recently, which is December. So um, we started this menu like three weeks ago, and I'm going to change it already. Why? Because um, I'm using what's in season, and I, I try not to use, you know, um, the macro stuff, you know, the frozen stuff. I don't oh, use those. Yeah, yeah. You so, use fresh food. Yes. Yeah, so what's in season? So, and some are fading already. Yes, ma'am. And that's why I have to adapt every time. So, yeah, I mean, probably next week, I'm just waiting for some products that like cheeses. It's all coming from Bangkok, things like this. Oh, okay. So we will have a good selection of sandwiches like Cubano and um, our version of birria. Mexican birria, it's tacos with beef and cheese, okay. but I'm going to do like a panini style of that one. So, okay. so yeah, um, I, I, what, I, I what used to be a chef for hotels in Manila and all over Asia, so. Oh, 
Okay. So yeah. <laughs> That's, how long were you a chef? Oh, long time. I'm already 34 right now, and I started working since I was like 19. Wow. So long time already. Yeah. I You're, feel old. No, nah, not old at all. <laughs> Your pancakes are awesome. Thank you. I was telling telling them that uh, it's hard to find a good quality pancake here in Thailand, and I I mean quality pancake. Re- Compared to what we're used to in in the West, yeah, you know, most of the pancakes here are a little bit dense. They're not as fluffy, but yours are good. Really and also good. because you know, living here for like a year, we were in search of like this pancakes and all that. And every time we eat out, or most of the time we eat out, and when they say pancake here, they they are using like a muffin, uh, perfect, perfect, uh, you know, circle one. Which is, I found out it's frozen and they just microwave it oh. and finish it in the oven. Okay. So things like this. So I said that's not the real pancake. Right. Yeah, right. the real pancake you make you, the batter. Yeah, make the batter and then you we use a griller and then just you know. Yeah, the, the gr- so griddle? we like we, a griddle. Yes, the griddle. We yeah, use, yeah. we have a big griddle for the pancakes. Okay. So yeah. That's good. I'll definitely be back. Yes, I'll probably please. come back maybe one day for lunch or dinner. Sure. And try something else. Please, please, yeah. Um, maybe I'll try one of your Filipino dishes. Yeah. <laughs> Since you're Filipino. Yeah, and uh, yeah, we don't have Thai food here because everybody else has Thai food already. Right, so right. I try to put some Filipino something stuff. Different. Yeah. And yeah, I I will invite you when we have the new menu. Yeah. So yeah, that'd be good. I think the new menu will be more exciting. Okay. And also, I will be adding some bakery stuff in here, some pastries, cookies, brownies, and all that. Oh, stuff. Okay. Because we have we have like dead time in the afternoon, and people are like just wants to have coffee and some cookie. Yeah. So we will be putting some of those as well. Smart. Very nice decor. Thank Very you. Very nice, good music, chill vibe. It's a nice place. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Have Wi-Fi. Yeah. Have Wi-Fi. Good. I can come in here and get some work done. Got a sure. outlet over here. Sure. Good. Anytime. You'll be very welcome here. Thank you. <laughs> I'm All sorry. Right. No, I won't keep you from your work. I know you. Thank you so much. Yes, ma'am. And Thank you. Nice meeting you. Likewise. We'll see you what again. What's your name? Phil. <laughs> it's okay. Phil. It's, it's okay. okay, Alex. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, Phil. Nice meeting you. Likewise. And I hope uh, to welcome you again here. Thank you. Especially with our new menu. Yeah, yeah. I'll definitely be back. Thank you. All right. Have a good one. <laughs> All right, y'all. I got to run back in the room real quick. I get some money. I'm going to run down here to the Jom Tien bus station and see if I can get a bus ticket for maybe around 4 o'clock. So I just got my bus ticket for 3 o'clock this afternoon. 143 baht. I'm gonna head into Patio Central and get a massage. Then I gotta run back to the room, take a shower real quick, change, come back here to the bus station and get on the bus and go to the airport. Let's see if this place has those mangoes. That's the brand right there. I want the big bag though. There we go. These dehydrated mangoes, man, these things are so good. These things are freaking awesome. I'm gonna let them ring this up. If it's 68 baht, I might get like three bags of these things. They freaking good. 68 baht, well, I'm gonna get about three bags of these. Y'all know why. Click, click. I'm gonna get four bags. That's like $10. I'm telling you, these things, these things dangerous good. 272 baht, that's gotta be close to $9. Man, in the States, them things would have been probably $5 a bag. Maybe six or $7 a bag. Eat mango, but I'm gonna be eating these mango for the rest of the video. Y'all know why. But. If you haven't figured it out, I'm at the airport and I'm just gonna catch the BTS over to Paya Thai and then Paya Thai to uh, Ahsok. I'm gonna be here in Bangkok a couple hours and then I'm probably gonna get a Bolt taxi or a regular taxi back to Pattaya. Probably get to Pattaya between 11 and midnight. And then I have to get right back up at about three o'clock in the morning because I'm leaving at 4 a.m. to go on a bike ride. <laughs> All right, folks, I'm out here at Margarita Storm Bistro, Superbit 13, Bangkok. Got a little meetup. World of Oni in the house. <laughs> this dude blew up 
You hear me? I watched a lot of his videos, man. Dude's got a great vibe. Positive. Super chill. The meetup is from 7 to 9. It's about 6.30 right now. Yeah, come on in here. Let's let's check and see what this meetup is all about. That's uh, Dwayne and Kareem. Yes. Okay. And the name of your channel is? DC Lifestyle. DC Lifestyle. <laughs> and how long you been in Thailand? Uh, we've been here about going for two years now. Yeah. Yeah. Two years. Really? Yeah. Man. Going for two years. We came here in May 2021. Yeah. Yeah. So exactly in one month it's been two years. Actually, just to be more specific, we stayed in Thailand for about a year and eight, ten months. Yes. And then we left to Cambodia for two months and then came back here again. Yeah. See? So you Thailand bug, bitch, you had to come back. Yeah, yeah. man. Yeah. <laughs> we were in Cambodia, we were just excited just to get back here. <laughs> Our journey actually started in Chiang Mai. Okay. Yeah. Our home away from this. <laughs> where where y'all from? South Africa. Oh. Cape Town. Cape nice. Mountain. Keep it up. It was nice to meet you both. Kareem. Am I saying that right? Yes. Kareem and Dwayne. Yes. All right. right. <laughs> oh, so nice to meet you. Oh, I'm What's up? What's up? Hey, how are you? How are you? Oh, I know you guys. Well, how are you? Phil. Phil. Yeah, yeah. Good to meet you. Um, okay, yeah, we was in the bushes. <laughs> yes, we was in the bushes. Yeah, Great video, yeah, yeah. by the way. Love Appreciate the video, you. man. Appreciate yeah, you. Super nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah. Super Likewise. nice to meet you. <laughs> what up? Shout out Weasels in the Bushes channel. I love the fact that you guys are coming along the journey, man. So, just like I said, yeah, guys, thank you. Uh, let's keep having a good night. A lot of you guys have been asking for a World of Oni shirt. So, the shirts, guys, working with what am I? inspirations one of my mentors my cousin caesar he is really dope like this cousin to me is a super super dope family member of mine who's giving me a lot of wisdom he's a very hard worker he's actually a professional designer you guys can purchase a shirt online if you want super cool dude man super chill i love when i meet youtubers that act the same exact way in person as they do when you see them on camera. To me, it's a true testament to their character. 